Imagine a world where a lost tooth isn't a lifetime problem, where dentists no longer fill, drill, or replace, but instead help you regrow your own tooth from within. It sounds futuristic, almost unbelievable, but this is exactly what stem cell research is making possible today. Inside every one of us lies a biological miracle, stem cells, tiny living architects capable of building any part of the body, from bone to nerve to enamel. These cells are the body's raw materials, blank slates that can transform into whatever tissue we need. And now, scientists are learning how to use them to regenerate human teeth. Not artificial implants or dentures, but real, living, growing teeth. To understand how this works, we need to look back at what makes a tooth so unique. Unlike skin, which constantly renews, or bone, which heals after a fracture, a tooth is a complex structure made of enamel, dentin, cementum, and pulp each layer formed by specialized cells that disappear once the tooth fully develops. That's why when enamel wears away or decay sets in, our teeth cannot repair themselves naturally. But stem cells can change that. Inside the soft pulp at the center of your tooth, there are small reservoirs of stem cells called dental pulp stem cells. Scientists discovered that under the right conditions, these cells can grow into new dentin, the material that makes up the bulk of a tooth. In some animal experiments, Damaged teeth began repairing themselves when these stem cells were activated. In others, entire new tooth buds formed. The implications are staggering. It means our mouths already contain the blueprint for self-healing. Researchers are now testing how to guide and control that healing process. One technique involves using biodegradable scaffolds, tiny sponge-like structures that hold stem cells in place and shape them into the form of a tooth. These scaffolds dissolve naturally as the new tissue grows, leaving behind a fully formed tooth. Another method uses stem cell injections, where scientists place stem cells directly into the empty socket of a lost tooth, combined with special growth factors that tell them to start building enamel and dentin. In laboratory studies, this approach has already produced tooth-like structures in animals within weeks. If the same results can be replicated in humans, dentistry as we know it will never be the same again. Imagine losing a molar and having it replaced with your own regenerated tooth. No metal, no synthetic materials, no risk of rejection. Your body simply grows it back. That's the promise of stem cell tooth regeneration. One of the leading voices in this field is Dr. Paul Sharp, a pioneer in regenerative dentistry from King's College London. His team successfully used stem cells to regrow living tooth tissue in mice and continue to explore how to make it happen in humans. Another breakthrough came from researchers in China who combined stem cells with 3D-printed scaffolds shaped exactly like the missing tooth. Within weeks, the cells filled the structure with real dental tissue. When implanted into animals, these bioengineered teeth bonded seamlessly with the surrounding bone and nerves. This kind of work opens the door to personalized dentistry, a future where your dentist can scan your mouth, print a biodegradable mold of your missing tooth, and fill it with your own stem cells to grow a perfect match. But the potential goes even further. Stem cells can be taken not only from the pulp of teeth, but also from other sources. Bone marrow, fat tissue, or even baby teeth that children naturally lose. Many parents today are choosing to preserve their children's baby teeth in special cryogenic banks, because those tiny teeth are rich in powerful stem cells that may one day save lives or regrow teeth. The science behind this is evolving rapidly. In 2021, a study demonstrated that stimulating the WNT signaling pathway, a key molecular switch, could activate dormant dental stem cells in adults. When triggered, these cells started forming new dentin in damaged teeth. It's like turning back the biological clock, reawakening the same processes that built our first set of teeth. Another promising line of research involves low-level laser therapy. Scientists discovered that shining specific wavelengths of light on dental stem cells can stimulate them to divide and grow faster. This non-invasive method could one day allow dentists to heal cavities or regrow tooth structure using light alone, without drilling or fillings. As incredible as it sounds, it's all rooted in the same principle. Our bodies already know how to build teeth. We just need to remind them how. But this scientific revolution doesn't come without challenges. The biggest hurdle is controlling the shape, size, and alignment of newly grown teeth. Teeth are highly specialized, with roots that connect to nerves and blood vessels in very specific ways. If a regenerated tooth grows incorrectly, it could cause pain, infection, or misalignment. That's why researchers are working on bio-guided regeneration, where advanced imaging and computer modeling help design the perfect environment for tooth growth. 
This involves combining biology with technology, 3D imaging, AI modeling, and biomaterial engineering to create a precise, personalized regeneration plan for every patient. Another concern is timing. Tooth growth is slow, even in nature. Regrowing a full adult tooth might take months, possibly years. But with advances in bioreactors, devices that mimic the body's conditions and accelerate cell growth, scientists hope to speed up the process dramatically. What's even more exciting is how this technology might expand beyond just replacing lost teeth. Stem cell therapy could eventually repair fractured roots, regenerate gums damaged by periodontal disease, and even rebuild jawbone lost to trauma or aging. It could transform oral health from a lifetime of maintenance to a one-time healing process. Picture an elderly person regaining a full, natural smile after decades of tooth loss. Picture a child born without certain teeth growing them naturally for the first time. The impact would be profound, socially, medically, and emotionally. Confidence, nutrition, and overall health would all improve. And because the regenerated teeth would be living tissue, they'd continue to adapt, strengthen, and heal just like natural ones. The global race to make this a reality is heating up. Research teams in Japan, the U.S., and Europe are all developing clinical trials. In Japan, scientists who discovered the USAG1 gene, known for suppressing tooth growth, are now exploring how stem cells can be used alongside genetic therapies to regrow missing teeth in humans. Their goal is to create a treatment available in dental clinics within the next decade. Meanwhile, biotechnology companies are investing millions into this emerging field. Some envision a future where losing a tooth is as temporary as losing a fingernail. Others are developing stem cell patches that could be applied directly to damaged areas, encouraging the tooth to regrow layer by layer. And it's not just labs leading the charge. Universities and dental schools are integrating regenerative dentistry into their research programs, training the next generation of dentists to work with biology instead of against it. Still, for all its promise, stem cell tooth regeneration is not a magic bullet yet. There are ethical questions about sourcing stem cells, safety concerns about uncontrolled growth, and technical limitations in ensuring each regenerated tooth integrates perfectly with the jaw. But every year those obstacles get smaller. The first successful human trials may begin within the next few years, and when they do, it could redefine how we think about aging and healing altogether. After all, teeth aren't just for chewing. They're vital for speaking, smiling, and living confidently. The ability to regrow them would mean more than a medical advancement. It would be a restoration of something deeply human. Stem cell technology has already healed hearts, rebuilt cartilage, and restored sight. Now it's setting its sights on our smiles. Imagine the emotional power of regaining something you thought was lost forever. Your natural teeth, your real smile, your sense of self. No more fear of decay, no more prosthetics, no more endless dental repairs. Instead, a single procedure that activates your body's own regenerative power. It's poetic, really. The same force that formed your first tooth in childhood could return decades later to give you a second chance. The future of dentistry won't be defined by drills or crowns, but by cells, light, and genes working together in perfect harmony. And in that future, we won't just fix teeth, we'll grow them. So the next time you hear the phrase stem cell tooth regeneration, remember that it's not a dream anymore. It's science unfolding before our eyes, a bridge between biology and technology, between loss and renewal. Hidden in your own body lies the ability to rebuild what was once gone, to restore what time has taken away. The key is within us, waiting to be awakened. The smile of the future won't come from the lab. It will come from within.